without a cup because of that stupid, inept decision. I'm sick and tired of this season. And because we lost, people think it's, it's, it's sour grapes. The reality is we're in control of a game and the referee makes a mistake of that magnitude in a le at this level and he's still performing week in, week out. If one of my players does m makes a mistake that he's out of the team and he doesn't, it takes a long while to get back in, we have to put up with this. At this level, that's cost my club lots of money. Lots of money. I'm sick to death of it. Why was the referee changed in the first place? I don't know. That, 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 first of all, made me very suspicious. Why was the referee changed in the first place? Because we've had problems before. There's four or five tackles go on before a, a, a yellow card produced. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. We've had problems with, with, with them before, and it, this, hasn't, this hasn't improved it. And I, I'm asking the question, why, why was a change made and he put in charge of our game? Because it's been controversy most times he's been in charge of our game. The players are suspicious, the players are concerned. Because this is professional football, this is my living, this is the players' living. He goes back to his job on Monday morning and we have to pick up the pieces. Not accepted to me at this level. Not acceptable whatsoever. And yet it just happens, it's happened again. It's happened it's already this season, it's happened again. The most honest player you get in football is Michael Devine. He came up and said, I never touched him. We had, we had a, with the same referee, we had a definite handball against St. Pat's up in Inchicore. Television proves a handball, he didn't give the penalty. Now he gives a penalty, that's not a penalty tonight. And I ask you, is the, am, am I being paranoid or is this reality? This is reality. That's what I have to put up with. That's what my job depends on. I'm not willing to, I'm not putting up with that. I'm not putting up with that. I'm not, Mooney was going away from goal, so if you made one mistake, you then made a second. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was, it was a disaster. A disaster. Absolute disaster. And I'm suspicious of it now. I'm telling you, quite right, quite open. I am suspicious of it. Penalty in, definite penalty in, in, in uh, Richmond Park, didn't get it. Penalty here tonight, no penalty, penalty. There's something happening. Have you spoken to the ref? I wouldn't even, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother my arse speaking to him. I wouldn't bother my arse because I've spoken to the referee before I've asked for protection out of this season. What happens? Four or five tackles before a yellow card. Right, I've done him his legs in the right state in there. Four or five tackles, no, then a yellow card. Talks to them, talks to the opposition of the friends of his, they're talking to him, Ian this, Ian that. I'm, 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 I'm highly suspicious, very sceptical and completely disillusioned over that tonight. That was a scandalous decision. And because we lost, it's going to appear like I'm so, it's, it's so great for me. And you know what will happen? Nothing. Next game, he'll be putting get in our game next game again. To teach me, to keep my mouth shut, keep my place, know my place. I'm only a part of the proletariat. These people run the game. If Danny Murphy getting the second suspend, the second card for, for, for a, in, in, in a situation in the League Cup, there's something definitely going on, right? We're from Cork, and what's happening in Dublin? Nothing. Don't give it. They don't give a shit about us down here. And you're walking your heart, heart up. We're getting people, people together. To, 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 the chairman's put money in week out. We got people sacrificing themselves. They're going to make this their living, and this happens. What am I supposed to do? Well, I, spoke, I spoke to the fourth official about the, on the second challenge. I said, spoke to the fourth official. He said, you're using bad language. So a bad language is, more accept, is, is less accepted than a bad challenge. The thin skin of, 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 of officialdom is upset by bad language, and my player is not supposed to be upset by a bad challenge. That can, that can, that can damage their career. There's something seriously wrong. And I'm afraid what's seriously wrong, as I'm finding out with disciplinary committee, is that there still exists in Irish football, Irish professional football, a link with the past. A, a, a Jurassic, Neanderthal link with the past, where the old boys network is still in operation. <laughs> and it's who you know and get players of. Dan, Dan Connor, head butter Dennis Bean, got one game in the Santa Cup, played in the final. Roy did, a, did, did not even as much in the Santa Cup, got three games. Danny Murphy's new for the next two games, and yet we see this happening here tonight. Am I going crazy? Is there something seriously wrong with our game? I think there is. I'm going to have to seriously look at the situation now because I'm not, I'm not going to place my future in the hands of that sort of, that sort of behaviour. No whatsoever. Questioning your involvement? In I'm questioning my involvement now. Very much. Very much indeed. I'm not going to... How can I put up with that? It's, it, the same man, and again, and again, and again, and again. Somebody's out to get me. Is there somebody out to get me, do you think? Somebody out to give us a message? We've been shagged by Dublin. We've been ridden rock, rock solid by people in Dublin. And 
it's never going to change, I'm afraid, because that's where all the power is and that's where it's going to stay. And it's who you know in Dublin, and I've been through it many, many times, and I've seen it in operation, and I've seen it work for the club I was at before, and I've seen it now working against us. It. It's who you know, it's the old boys' network, and there's still fellas nine, nearly 80 years of age running football in Dublin. It's ironic that they're getting rid of them now today, isn't it? Are they? The new, the new league they're planning. Well, the league may be minus one, one individual when it comes round. So I'm not going to put up with that. I'm not going to place my future in the hands of people like that. That's not. It's not even incompetence. It's beyond incompetence. That's the worrying aspect. It's beyond incompetence. If I had a conspiratorial mind, I'd be thinking there's something up here. Some might say you do have one at the moment. I most certainly do. And my conspiratorial mind is well founded. Well founded. Why a change in referee? Why this fella? And why the same consequence? Cork City, up the river. In all your time at Chillingham over the years, it's a long time at Chillingham. Would you have encountered anything, you know, along the, the magnitude of this? No. Where you were on the brink of saying you, you've had enough, you're going to pack up? I'm, uh, no, I've never, I've never, even in England, you got, there was a, there was a, a basic honesty there. It was a professional game, a traditional professional game. Here, I'm, 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 I'm what's happened with Danny Murphy this week has, has, has disillusioned me. Um, that, that was the first bad point this week because I thought, again, something up. You can sit in your fat arse in the corridors of power in Dublin and make decisions that affects people outside Dublin, but it doesn't happen with clubs inside Dublin. It doesn't happen with individuals that in, in the greater part of Dublin. And what happens, what am I, okay, what will I do about it? Nothing I can do about it. Then you come down tonight and see the referee's been changed, and we got this fellow who's a history of, and then the history deepens and broadens and extends itself with catastrophic effects on my club. And I'm supposed to go back home and keep my mouth shut. Well, these big fat ass butt cats in Dublin want, want me to do, and they want to sit there and take their expenses and take their fucking money and hold the positions of power long past the sell by date. Not me. Not me. I want to keep my integrity. Sorry, Damien, what game was Danny done for? He's uh, Dublin City. Dublin City, next two games. And then he went home. Yeah, well, uh, Being sent off at uh, Cove Ramblers. Oh, and who's out? Divine is missing for one of And Divine is never. Divine is never. Scandalous. Scandalous. It's a scandal. And I'm not. I'm personally, there's a, big, there's a big week to come. Big few days. Um, and I'll, get, I'll, see, I'll see what happens. I'm going to wait and see what happens. If nothing happens, then something will happen. How did you feel about your own players' performances, Damien? Up until the referee stepped in, we'd, we'd everything under control. Um, we had uh, got the goal at the right time. The others couldn't get the ball off us. I, 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 the player, players did great, and when you, when you get it taken off, you're like that from a referee. It's very, very difficult to have. We made a mistake, which Michael Devine was getting us out of, and then the referee stepped in and made a mistake that was that was beyond repair. I, I find that extremely hard to accept. This is an honest group of players. They they work the very best, and for that to happen is, is beyond is beyond acceptance to me. Roy starts out on the left today, could that be something that we'll see next week again? Might do, he played very well Roy, always caused a threat, um, particularly in the second half he looked, he looked an exceptional player. But no matter how well Roy plays, no matter how well, how good a goal John O'Flynn gets, if you get the referees like that, referee that comes again and, spot, and, and, and Grass takes the game away from you, then you've got to, you've got to look at the situation. And uh, the situation to me is quite graphic, there is a problem. And uh, I have to, it's my living, it's my family. My, my bills have to be paid and I'm not, I'm not willing to place them in the hands of people like that anymore.